I'm here. Okay, very good. One moment. Hi, thank you. My name is Lauren Rodriguez. I am the HR specialist at the Fairfax School District and I'm reading portions of an email that was submitted to Mr. Moreno to discuss two items of concern to the confidential classified staff at the district office. Firstly, Mr. Moreno, we were disappointed, but we respect your decision to not approve the request to rescind budget reduction items that were on the July 9th agenda. You mentioned at the meeting that you were wanting to wait a month or so to make sure the state wasn't going to impose additional cuts. And we sincerely hope you reconsider and allow the admin assistant position to return at the next board meeting. Secondly, and of most concern is what we believe to be a hostile work environment that is being created by board member, Mr. Palmer Moland. We feel Mr. Mullen is directly targeting our office and in particular, one of our office staff members. We have witnessed Mr. Mullen behave in a harassing manner towards this person. He has approached this individual and other office staff in a demanding and sometimes aggressive manner. He has directly asked employees questions and has requested documents that should have been directed towards the superintendent. He does not abide by board bylaws 9005.1 board and superintendent protocols nor board bylaws 9200 limits of board member authority. Early on in Mr. Mullen's term, a classified employee shared a direct conversation she had with Mr. Mullen in which he was talking negatively about a district office employee's work performance. This was discussed with Mr. Pullman and we agreed that maybe it was a one-time thing and that things would calm down. It has not. We recently learned that Mr. Mullen has continued these conversations with various employees. We are disheartened that such unprofessional actions would occur from a person in a position of leadership. When speaking on the items that would be rescinded from the budget cuts at the July 9th board meeting, Mr. Mullen repeatedly stated that he could not agree to bring everything back on the list with the, that he could agree to bring everything back on the list with the exception of the DO clerk. He was adamant that the DO clerk not be approved and that the items be separated so he could vote yes on the others and no on the clerk. His insisting on the removal of the clerk was extremely demeaning and embarrassing to the individuals in this position, and this can only be viewed as malicious. In public comments at the July 23rd board meeting, Mr. Mullen spoke on an issue of the district office not wearing masks. This was completely false, out of line, and unprofessional. His concern should have only been addressed privately to the superintendent and not in a public comment nor at the board meeting. This is just another example of his disrespectful and harassing treatment of the district office. On August 2nd, Mr. Mullen posted the following on Facebook regarding his COVID-19 experience. Quote, Weeks later, I happened to be exposed somewhere, possibly in my school's district office, where people failed to wear masks, even after an all staff mandate to wear masks was passed by the board 5-0. I addressed the superintendent on one encounter and then the board on another. And still on this past Friday, people still weren't following that policy. Somebody made me aware of people that had been exposed in that office, whether true or false, I would wear a mask, hashtag shameful, end quote. This public statement on social media is shameful. It not only violates board bylaws 9011 disclosure of confidential privilege information, I suggest it violates California Civil Code section 56.2 through 56.245 use and disclosure of medical information by employers. Mr. Mullen is in a position of perceived authority and his behavior is harassing. His repeated desire to eliminate the admin assistant position and his public comments at the board meetings and on social media has created a hostile work environment for the district office staff. We are requesting that based on his harassment of the district office, that Mr. Mullen be required to abstain from any voting items related to the employees or staffing at the district office. We thank you for your time and attention. Um, thank you for the, thank you for the comment, Lauren. Um, you know, obviously I, th I think you all know that it would not be appropriate for, for me to respond uh, to comments um, under the Brown Act since they're not on the agenda, but I can, assure you and everyone else that uh, the safety of our employees is, is, is most important to the board and any complaints received by the district um, will be investigated. So, so thank you for that. Thank you.